Okay, check, check, one, two, check, one, two. How are my levels? Sound good? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, okay, so my dad's gonna kill me for telling this story, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. Uh, I grew up in Jackson Heights, Queens, and we had a theater up the block. It was called The Boulevard, and it wasn't anything fancy, about three screens, but, uh, you know, it had a nice little art deco look. It was very cool, and it was up the block, and so we could walk there. And my mom and dad would take us to the movies all the time. We loved the movies. And so one of the things that would happen when we went to the movies was my dad loved to sneak into other movies. So we would buy tickets. We'd go see a film. And when the film was over, you know, we'd mill around, you know, in the shadows, inconspicuous like, and then sneak into another movie. This was my, my dad's version of the double feature. Uh, and we did it all the time. And, you know, he, this, this was his thing. Uh, so one weekend we went to the movies and we went to go see Clash of the Titans. It was fantastic. I mean, we love Clash of the Titans. We love you know, Ray Harryhausen the man. So we loved everything like that. But there were two other movies showing at the time. It was the Blues Brothers, which we had already seen and loved. It was another movie. It was like a grown-up movie. We didn't really have any interest in it. Um, we didn't really know a lot about it, but uh, we knew that it probably was not going to be better than the Blues Brothers. So we saw Clash of the Titans, loved it, came out, and immediately just started going towards the theater that was showing the Blues Brothers. And my dad stopped us and he said, I don't want to see this. I want to go see this other movie, this movie for grown-ups. And we said, no, we want to go see the Blues Brothers again. And he said, no, I want to see this one. And so we just start throwing a tantrum, just in unison, my two brothers and I, just throwing a tantrum, um, you know, stomping our feet, crying that we don't want to go see this other movie. We want to go see the Blues Brothers. And my dad does not get angry often, but he got angry. And he grabbed us and he dragged us into the bathroom and he like shoved us into a stall and he closed the door behind us. And he said, look, every time we come here, we always got to see what you want to see. But now we're going to see the movie I want to see. Okay. So stop crying or you're going to get us caught and we're going to be thrown out of here and we're going to be banned from the boulevard. And you don't want that. All right. Cause that's like the end of movies. And of course we did not want that because we love movies. So. We, you know, we decided to stop whining, you know, we, we wiped the tears from our eyes and we folded our arms defiantly and we were like, fine. And so when the coast was clear, my dad, you know, kind of ushers us out of the bathroom and we follow him into theater number one. And we open the door and the theater's already dark and the movie's already going. And we slide into the back row. Uh, you always go into the back row when you sneak into a movie because you don't need the unwanted attention. You know, you don't go to the front where some usher can catch you and ask to see a ticket stub. So we're in the back and the movie that my dad had forced us to go see was Raiders of the Lost Ark. And you had never seen three kids shut up as fast as we did when that movie hit our eyeballs we the, we didn't miss that much and so indiana jones is about to walk into the 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 jungle temple right with alfred molina and we were just dumbstruck quiet our eyes popped open and i think it was just like the coolest thing we'd ever seen and it like got hold of us from those those opening scenes like it grabbed us and it didn't let go for the entire movie. And I went to go see that movie another four times in the theater. I paid, like actually paid to go see it another four times because it had such a profound effect on me, that film. It was the first time I'd seen a movie that I needed to know how they did it, how they, had, how they did all of it. Production design, special effects, music shots, like cinematography, like every piece of that film was so burned into my mind. Uh, 
it was like the most beautiful, magical experience I had ever had in a theater. Now, I had seen a lot of movies up until that point, a lot of really cool movies. But there was something about Raiders that was like incredibly special and incredibly magical. And for me, it was like the first time I understood it as a craft that a bunch of people, talented people had to come together and they could create this, this experience for everyone. Um, it, was an, it was just insane to finally be able to like kind of see past the screen and all the work that goes into making movies. And like, really, it was never the same. After that movie, I said, I want to do this. Like, I want to make movies. I want to tell stories like this. And I want to be able to share this experience with other people. And you realize how inspirational it is, right? Where you could just be dragged into a dark theater and have your life changed forever. And it really, I was changed forever. After that, all I want to do is make movies. And I'm happy to say that I, I to this day, I still make movies. But uh, it was because of that, you know, it, it was just to be inspired by a work like that. Um, even now, like, even if I never was able to make something as great as Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, you know, you still understand how inspiring it can be for people and how you yourself could be inspired by other people's work. And so it really was, it was Raiders that kind of like changed me and put me on this path towards making films. And I like, I never forget it because I know for some people, movies are just entertainment. But when you, when you were that kid and you were in that theater that day, you never could have imagined what that experience would have done to you. It just, it's hard to forget that. And whenever I make a movie today, I will always remember what it was like to sit there and be transported the way I was. It's a magical thing. And it's it really is hard to forget how magical it can be for people. Um, and even if it has not happened for you yet, every time you see a movie, it could happen. That could be the one that has a profound effect on your life and your dreams. So nobody will ever be able to convince me that it's not worthwhile, that telling stories is not worth doing. You know, as, as, as a kid who was changed by it, I know it is, and I'll never forget it. How was that? Was that, a, was that too personal? Would you rather hear the story about how I got diarrhea during the Terminator?